So when NASA came to us with some help uh, or looking for some help uh, with their satellite batteries, we were able to turn around and have their battery operational within six hours. Now uh, we call this the um, quarter one concierge service. It's fast around time for high performance and high quality for some of these most uh, demanding customers. Hey everybody, it's Stuart Smith again at smallcapvoice.com and I'm super excited to be welcoming back to the show once again, Michael Moe. He's the CEO of Cooler Technology Group, ticker symbol on the NYSC American is K-U-L-R. You may or may not know this, but I'm the moderator of their quarterly calls and we had a fantastic one recently, but we wanted to get Michael back because since that call just a few weeks ago, there's been a tremendous amount of news and some of this news has stirred up a lot of questions on social media. You've been sending us to, uh, those questions here via email or on social media. You can always find us there at Small Cap Voice. And of course, we're handling the questions there for Cooler Technology Group as well. But without further ado, let's welcome to the show, Michael Moe. He is once again, the CEO of Cooler Technology Group. Michael, thanks for making time for us. Hey, thank you, Stuart. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to have you here again, Michael, and I want to jump around. So in other words, I'm not going to go in chronological order of these press releases. I want to start off with the new relationship with Amprius. Uh, the more I read that press release, the more it struck me as really a good synergistic symbiotic relationship. I, Amprius is now going to be bringing a reliable source and with you know the supply chain being what it is these days, a reliable source of high quality batteries is a valuable thing. And then of course, what Cooler brings to the table, even more so valuable. You are taking these batteries and you're making them stand up to the highest safety standards. So let's talk a little bit about this relationship, how it came about and how you see it growing. Yeah, no, uh, thank you, Stuart. I'm super excited about this partnership because uh, Amprius has spent uh, over 15 years developing these highest energy density battery cells in the market. You know, their mission is to transform the electric mobility market with these high performance cells. Um, and they're targeting a market, TAM, about $116 billion that include the uh, unmanned aerial systems, the Stroms, high altitude satellites, that's about $38 billion, uh, electric aviation, that's EV tows, electric plane, that's about $11 billion, and also high performance electric vehicles, that's about $67 billion all by 2025. So at Cooler, uh, like you said, we specialize in making safest battery systems with these high performance cells um, and for very high value applications with our Cooler One platform. So now we're applying these technology, you know, not only to this $116 billion electric transportation market, uh, we're also applying these most advanced battery cells in the market uh, to build them into battery packs for space and uh, military applications, or our Cooler One space and the Cooler One Guardian platform. So uh, McKinsey has estimated that the space economy would reach over $1.8 trillion uh, with a T uh, by 2035. Um, uh, that would be bigger than the semiconductor industry and that would be as integral uh, to our life as the semiconductor industry. So I think this partnership is another step for us to position quarter one space um, to be the leading energy solutions platform for the space economy. Well, another thing tucked in here, and I want to point out that our director of video content did a deep dive, and you can check out that video here. Kevin Gray really went into why it's important that Cooler is, for lack of better terminology, agnostic to battery types. In other words, you can service all battery types, and one battery type that's grabbing a lot of news because of the pivots made by Porsche, Mercedes, GM are these silicone anode batteries. So can we get your insights on how Cooler has uniquely <clears throat> positioned itself across all battery types to be a major player with battery applications, having the highest safety for, as you just pointed out, space, military, electric aviation, and maritime applications. The list goes on, Michael. Yes. Uh, so their um, secret sauce is the silicon nanotechnology, which they've spent over a decade developing. So um, with that silicon nanotechnology, they're able to achieve the highest energy density battery cells. Uh, that's critical for these high value applications. But the side effect of this high energy density is when the cell go to thermal runaway, the reaction is extra volatile. Uh, another, um, uh, 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 the nanotechnology uh, is uh, lithium metal. Um, and a lot of companies are also exploring that, um, that uh, you can get extra energy and extra power from lithium metal uh, you know, batteries. But the thermal runaway event will be also extra volatile as well. So we're uniquely uh, positioned to benefit the industry trend towards these really high performance battery cells 
is because our focus on safety and thermal management of these cells. That's our heritage. We spent over 10 years developing this technology. So that's our kind of a core competency. Uh, so we're, we're working with battery cell manufacturers like Amprius. We work with OEMs to test these cells, to categorize these cells, and also to build the best tools in the battery packs with these cells to meet the certification requirement to go to space, military, electric vehicles, electric aviation, and maritime applications like you talked about. Outstanding. Well, let's jump around then. Let's go to another press release. And we've seen Cooler Technology Group work with drones in the past. Uh, recently, the company issued a press release. It was April 23rd. And the growth rate that was listed in that press release, again, dateline April 23rd, really impressive for the military drone market. Uh, is this an area where we might see Cooler spend a little bit more time, if you will, maybe ramp up its outreach to other military drone manufacturers and contractors? Well, um, well, for everything we kind of just talked about in terms of high performance battery packs, um, that can make the drones fly longer with a lighter battery pack is going to help um, gain an extra edge at the battlefield. Um, and that's uh, where the high energy uh, density cells, high power cells are coming to play and the safe battery pack will play a key role in this. Um, furthermore, we're working with drone makers to uh, fine tune the vehicles with a cooler vibe technology by eliminating um, the vibration. Um, that can do two things. One is eliminating uh, waste energy due to vibration so that the drone can fly longer. Another one is to make the drone smoother and to reduce the mechanical stress so they can be operationally ready all the time. And so those are the critical value that we deliver to our drone customers. Well, another piece of news just came out this week here in the month of May to kick off May. It's a press release with NASA. Sounds like you're lending them a hand. Here's the headline. Cooler Technology Group lends battery production infrastructure for rapid support of NASA's R5 program. Michael, uh, let's get your insights on this press release. What does this mean to the company? Well, um, First, it's our new facility in Webster, Texas. Uh, that's about 2.1 miles from NASA Johnson Space Center. Uh, it's really the in the heart of the new space economy, um, and, and we're surrounded by um, a lot of customers, including NASA. Um, the new facility is our battery center of excellence to showcase of all of our uh, Cooler One design solutions capabilities. So when NASA came to us with some help uh, or looking for some help uh, with their satellite batteries, we were able to turn around and have their battery operational within six hours. Uh, we call this the um, Cooler One Concierge Service. It's fast around time for high performance and high quality for some of these most uh, demanding customers. Uh, we can do testing, design, prototyping, and also get back to the customer within record time. Uh, frankly, for store, <clears throat> this is kind of unheard of uh, in our industry. Um, and this is frankly how we winning customer accounts now uh, and we see triple digit uh, percentage growth in our Cooler One design solution so far in 2024. Triple digit percentage growth. Wow, that's got to be music to the ears of the investors and the potential investors out there. Well, finally, Michael, you know, as we've done these conference calls together, you stated recently that 2023 really was a challenging year for the company. However, you've come out here swinging in 2024. A lot of great news, a lot of positive feedback from the shareholders. Is there one area in particular or one sector in particular that's got you excited here for 2024? Yeah, um, 23 was challenging for us. Um, and uh, fortunately, we we're able to pay off our white debt in March. And uh, that was a game changer for us. Um, I'm, I'm particularly excited about how we're scaling up our quota one platform with new customers, uh, with new engagements and with new partners like Amprius uh, and how we're building our ecosystem um, and uh, with battery cell manufacturers all the way to customer engagements. It's really showing that our strategy is working and the flywheel effect of getting our customers through the multiple products and services through our Cooler One design solutions platform uh, is going to accelerate in 2024. And so that's the, um, uh, the, most, um, the, the most exciting part for me. <clears throat> Outstanding. Well, this has been exciting for us here today. We appreciate your time, your insight, and your candor about your company. Listen, if you haven't done so already, now's the time to add KULR, traded on the NYSE American, to your watch list, do your due diligence. Look, there were some bumpy roads in 2023, but so far, just look at the press wire here in 2024. It's hard not to get excited. Michael, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Stork. Appreciate it.
<clears throat> you bet. For Michael Mo, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below so that we can have questions for the upcoming earnings call that we have in the month of May. We'll talk to you soon here right at smallcapvoice.com.